Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft video. What we're going to be doing is, like you saw in the title, making a great, 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 great chest room. Now, before that, we have a few things I got to go over. First things first, this has changed and I will change it again because I want to do a whole new layout on this base. It is too much wood and I think it'll look way better if it is changed. So there's going to be quite a bit of changes going on in this base. Not this episode but definitely in the future episodes now if you have not subscribed make sure you do because you don't want to miss another one of these videos and if you haven't watched the last episode you might as well go and watch that too because we did a lot of these things so now we go into the video but first let me kill this zombie coming down bang oh yes that was so easy here we go here we go and the chest room i want to make it around over here so we'll have the chest room right next to the villager room and then we have the nice armor and then when you go in here you will see that there is i don't know what this room is but right here is going to be a enchantment slash library room and then on the other side will be something completely different i don't know what it is so if you guys want to let me know what i should put over here i i have so many chickens i don't know why i have four chicken five chickens but i do so leave me alone is that five chickens is that one two three four five is there six or five i don't even know so all of this i still do need to change i don't like how the floor looks anymore because the style that i'm going for is going to be what is that what is that oh my gosh the style i'm going for is going to be quite different from this and i like it a lot so what i'm going to do is change this up a little bit but for now we need to get into the base so let's get to the speed build because i need to finish this chest room really badly So after a little bit of work here is how it's looking like and it's not too bad honestly now i really like how it looks with the spruce wood but i don't know maybe i changed this to spruce wood but i really like how it looks oak wood so there's a problem there guys i really need your help and comment down below if you have any suggestions like always i would love to see what you guys say now what i'm going to be doing now with this base is sort of just making an incline so it goes up like this and then i destroy this right here so something like this is perfect and something i would love to do but first we need how look look at my inventory guys what am i trying to do oh there we go there we go okay there so what i want to do is just do that throughout the whole area so i'll just go here 
and then do this so the reason why i'm doing this is because i think the chest room looks really good when it's not just one level up so by that which makes no sense but what i mean by that is instead of going straight up i like it to either go back or go one in the front which is what i did now because i think it just gives it more texture more style and it makes it a little bit different the problem that we did run with wow that looks kind of crazy. The problem that we did run into is, yeah, there's a big hole right here. So it kind of needs to get fixed a little bit because I don't really know. I, I don't know. I'm going to have to make this mountain completely different just because it doesn't fit anywhere. This literally does not. This doesn't fit anywhere else. So it's such a big chest room that I think. I think this will look good though. I really do. I think it will look nice. So I think it's going to be worth it. This is looking perfect. So then right here we'll have chest, 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 chest. And then at the end right here, we'll have the shulker boxes and some more decorations, something like that I think would look pretty cool. I kind of wanted to keep that part pretty simple, not nothing too crazy, but I did need a spot for the shulker boxes. As I do this, you can obviously skip ahead, but what I want to do right now is kind of talk with you guys a little bit just for a few minutes because I just want to let you guys know thank you so much for all the support and I really do appreciate it. I have grown quite a bit lately and the thing is I haven't been uploading consistently mainly once a week. Now it's been a little longer and it's just because it is getting closer to that time where I have to save up so I have a job and I am getting very very busy so I don't have much time to actually record Minecraft which I mean I hate it because I, I actually like recording this but I am having less and less time to record Minecraft so that's why the videos aren't as consistent and it does take quite a while to record some videos could even take well I know it, it's not that bad but two hours to record the video it takes me about an hour and a half to edit it and then putting it all together with the thumbnail and stuff takes me another hour so it's about like four or five hours in total just to get a video out which doesn't seem like that much but it's not something i could do i don't have five hours just to straight record a video and edit it and do all of that so what i'm doing now is basically recording in different days so I first started recording this probably three days ago and now I'm continuing it just because I do not have the time to just record it all in one, which is very annoying, but hopefully, hopefully it is okay. That's why my mic may sound different just because of the position. It's not in the same position all the time, but I try to do best I possibly can. It is getting pretty tough to record. I literally got home just now from the gym and I'm, re I'm recording. I am recording now a lot of the times I can't record just because there is a lot of background noise there is people that you can hear in the background and it's just something I don't like in my videos I think it is not good and it's happened where I've recorded videos and I've just deleted them because there's too much noise in the background too much stuff happening and I just don't like how it turned out so that is basically the main reason why because I need it to be quiet i need it to be nice where i can record so this was the perfect opportunity and i am trying to get a video done so hopefully you guys understand and let's get back into this okay this layer is pretty much done with all of the chest and i think it looks very very good now what i need to do is actually change the floor what i want it to be is i don't want it to be wood because i got a few comments actually that said it was too much wood and i do definitely agree this is right here quite a bit of wood so i'm planning on changing that a little bit and hopefully the base changes with it little by little maybe some off camera works with the base changing the floors and stuff but i want to make this floor oh what is this okay that is not fun i need to make the floor something that is nice but not too crazy 
So some stone brick and some cobblestone. I tried it out and I really like how it looks. So what I'm going to do is make the floor and the roof, the walls, everything is going to be this mix between stone brick and cobblestone. So it could be a little more defined, a little nicer, not all just one block. Because I think one block just is pretty boring, especially for 2021. The only problem that I actually have with this is I don't really have much cobblestone because my pickaxe is silk touch now i love silk touch because i can get a bunch a bunch a bunch of stone which is great for stone brick which i use a lot but yeah i don't really have much cobblestone so that is going to be quite annoying now we can try to get more cobblestone all i gotta do is mine with another pickaxe but i don't even think i have why is there a spider i don't even think i have another pickaxe to mine with that is regular not silk touch so what I will do, ow, what, ex ex excuse you. Anyways, I definitely don't have a, just a regular sort of pickaxe. That's not silk touch. So I think just changing it around a bit, maybe making a, a netherite pickaxe that is not silk touch for the future. You never know. And I think something like that would be nice. Something like this is what I want for the floor. So I don't exactly know how it's going to look entirely. But I think if I just keep mixing stuff around, oh, not definitely not a chest. Oh, I think I messed everything up. Okay, I just gonna keep mixing stuff around and just going like this with my offhand on the stone brick. So I could just change in between and I think it'll look very, very different at least. Hopefully it's, it's good, but it'll definitely look different. So I will get back to you guys once I actually finish this floor because it is quite a tedious process. And there we go. The floor is looking very nice. Now, what I want to do is I will add some temporary torches right on these logs just so nothing can spawn. I really don't want a creeper to come and then blow everything up. But for now, something like this looks very, very nice. And what I will do is repeat everything I've... Oh, do I need to change these? I think I do need to change these. Yeah, I definitely do. But the main thing I want to do is I will show you guys exactly how this is going to go. So first thing we need are some stairs. We got stone brick stairs and we need cobblestone stairs. So then once we get up here, what I would usually do is sort of just add backwards stairs sort of like this and then in random patterns. So like this side, we'll have some of this and... You never know how it's going to go. Just something like this, I think, would look pretty cool. And then what we would do is on this back side, do we have any slabs? No, we do not. I would get some slabs and with the slabs, I would add them back there. So you can't really tell that there's anything above it. And I think it looks very nice when I do it. So let me just make these slabs real quick. But if I add slabs right here, it doesn't have to be called. It doesn't have to be stone brick, but you can't really see it. So if I had slabs like that and stairs, you can't really see, like it looks like there's a solid block, but you can still open the chest, which is why I did it like that. So I think that looks really, really cool. And then what I will do is add some decorations on this side and then I'll add the chest in the top. So I'm gonna do that really quickly and show you guys how the layer will actually look once I do it. So it would look something like this. And then what I would do is add sort of slabs, I guess, on both sides. Like I said, something random and then some more decorations like that. And something like that would look nice. And then on this side, we would change it up, add some slabs here, and then maybe, maybe a staircase like this. And then two more spruce wood things like that. Change it around, make it look nice. Maybe over here, we'll just have a spruce there and then a slab right there or a trap door and something like that I think could also look good if I also want to change it up I would just add a slab a slap a slab door right there and something like that all of this looks good and this is mainly how the chest room is going to look so I'll be able to access all these chests at the top and at the bottom and then at the top what I'm going to do is the same staircase I did for this so stairs and then slabs in the back so you can still open them. I'll do that in the top and that is pretty much how the chest room is going to be. So what I'm going to do is do all of this and show you guys how it looks once it is all pretty much done. Okay, so everything is pretty much done. Basically what happened is from the cut, 
two now is I made the roof a little bit too small. So I had to raise it up one more. So as you guys can see, the roof is raised one more. And this oak wood block, let me see, right around here. This oak log, they used to be like this, but I moved them up one more. So this is basically the final look. I'm going to take these off, of course. But I needed to fill this in a bit. So what I wanted to do on actual live, live, not really live, but I want to, what I wanted to do in the actual video is sort of show you guys just this little process because I didn't want it all to be just done in a time lapse sort of video. So I think something like this honestly doesn't really take that much planning or thinking. It's just all about being random. So something like this, I think looks very, very nice. Now there is too much of the stairs. So what I would do is just turn this into slabs. And then for this side, I'll kind of put a stair there and then I'll go spruce wood, spruce wood there and probably another one there. Something like that. Like I said, I want it all to be looking different because I think different makes it look a lot better. So another one right there. Where am I gonna add? Should I add stairs to this one? E Ooh, I'll probably add one stair to this and then just have it like this and then like this and like this. So something like that I think looks pretty nice. Everything is different. So now we can take these off. And one last thing what I want to do, I don't really know what I'm going to do for this room. Really, mainly just going to probably finish this little area, make it look a little bit nicer and that roof. And then what I will do is add my shulker boxes in here, but I'm not too sure what else to add to this room. So I want to show you guys how I make my little lantern sort of things that I have done. Not before you guys haven't seen it, but some lanterns that I wanted to do on camera, I think will be the last step I would do and maybe actually adding some, where are my item frames, my item frames. I'm thinking guys of adding them. So, oh, I don't really want to mess it up, but I'm thinking of adding it right through here. I think that messes it up guys. I don't know where my item frames are going to be placed. I could do them sort of on the inside right here. I think that could be something good. So I'll, I'll know exactly what these chests are for, but it won't be as accurate. So let me know guys, what you, what you think I should do in the chest room where the item frame should go to organize my chest. Now let's move on to the actual lantern. So what we're going to need is some spruce wood trap doors. Let me get a few more of these because I always use these for almost all of my builds. You will see me using some spruce wood trap doors. I think they are like one of the best things ever made in Minecraft. Not gonna lie. Okay, there we go. So I did collect all of the items. Now what I did for the carpet, if you guys did not know, I added carpet and regular wool to give it some more texture and under some of the carpet is actually some and the carpet there was i don't know why that chicken was there there is some glowstone that will definitely light up the room without having torches everywhere so for what i for what for what i want to do that makes absolutely no sense what i want to do is actually make a lantern like i said so i'm just gonna build a little bit right here i need to use some scaffolding blocks i think that would really really help me but I want to add it sort of in the middle. So what I will do is add a lantern or not a lantern chain right there in the middle, then go down with a shroom light, then slabs. And I think it is where are my spruce wood doors. There are too many things in my inventory that I need. So we'll go up, add the spruce fences all around the shroom light. Now I don't want to use glowstone because shroom lights definitely look better. Why is there a chicken here? Shroom lights look better, so I definitely want to keep it with shroom lights. And then we'll have spruce wood trap doors underneath all of the shroom lights. So it looks like this. That is literally the lantern. Now, like I said, it is definitely it's definitely a little a little different. I haven't done this before. But I do like how the lantern is looking. I think it is looking very, very nice. So what I'm going to do instead, actually, no, never mind. I'm going to add a lantern here, here, and here. So in each of these, there's going to be a lantern. 
And then what I'm going to do is add my shulker boxes right here, finish this design up, just add some blocks here, and then maybe some shelving and show you guys how all of that looks at the end. So it's going to take me a little bit, but in a few seconds here, you will see how the actual final product looks. So this is pretty much the final look of the chest room. Now you walk in, you see the chest item frame right here, meaning it's chest room right here. I got to think of something to put for the villagers because I don't know why are there chickens there. Anyways, we walk into the chest room. We have the lights at the top. We have the chest over here, chest over here. All along these sides, we have chests. Then when you walk in through here, we have the big mountain of shulker boxes. And then right here, what I'm planning on having is maybe like a map and some item frames that are like down here and maybe some anvils. So ooh, I also want some pots. So like right here, they're going to be pots and a bunch of cool stuff sort of as decorations. And once we go up here, you can see I added some more fence gates as decoration along with just a bunch of slabs and stairs everywhere. Now, am I done with this? Probably not. I probably need to fix this little part up a little bit, but I'm not sure what to do with that right now. Also, these two areas right here, I might just, I don't know what I'm going to add in these two areas just because I don't know what I'm going to add yet or like what's going to be my chest room. I don't know what any of it is going to be. So if I have sort of blocks and stuff in this direction, I'll probably add a block here and then right here. I'll add like an enchantment book because then this will be like where the enchanted gear and stuff is. So I'll probably add like an enchanted book, enchanted chest plate, stuff like that. But I really, really enjoy how this turned out. I think it came out really good. Some more decorations on the inside here. I didn't add chains on this roof just because I think it would be a little bit too much. Too many chains, I think, for me. Fences, a little bit too many fences for me, I think, right here. But all in all, I think this is looking really good. Tell me how you guys feel about this contrast between spruce wood and oak wood. I actually kind of like it a lot more than I thought I would. Now, it is a little bit weird because there are two different types of wood, but it actually kind of, in my opinion, works because it goes from this dark wood to a whole different sort of vibe in this room. I guess the vibe is the right word. I don't know. But I think with how it is, it looks very nice. What I will do is probably add some item frames on each of these sides just so I can know where the chests are. But I'll probably remember where all the stuff goes sooner or later once I organize it all. I might do that off camera and just record a little time lapse of me doing it because it is quite a tedious process. I have to bring everything from over there all the way over here. But that will be probably it. This is looking, not gonna lie guys, this is looking really, really bland compared to the room that I did right here. So I definitely got to work on this a little bit. It is lacking quite a bit. We have to see what we're going to do with this and this part down here. The floor of this is going to change and the roof is going to change a little bit too, just so it could match the chest room because I really like this style and I think I do really good doing these styles. So what I'm going to do is end the video off here with this nice chest room. Hopefully you guys did enjoy and I will be recording as much as I can. But for now, I need to get some pots, but that's going to take me a little bit. I don't know if I even have clay. Either way, it is time to end the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Ooh, hopefully you guys did enjoy and see you guys in the next video. Good bye.